performance of a 16-gun cannon. Indeed it does. Uh, 16 cannons fired, as will happen tonight. And did you ever wonder how they do that right on cue? Often. We're going to find out. Margie Reedy is going to explain it to us. Given the sound they make, we would assume the cannons are quite large. Actually, they're about three feet tall and weigh 180 pounds. The gentleman in charge of the cannons for tonight's performance is munitions expert Paul Barnett. Lyle guns were developed in 1878 by Lieutenant David Lyle for the purpose of casting lifelines to persons stranded by shipwreck. Uh, the guns that are here are a 1904 modification of the Lyle uh, uh, system fire a uh, number of test shots to make sure that the uh, charges are adjusted according to the needs of the site. And uh, then we, for the rest of the afternoon, check our equipment and prepare for the show, and then in the evening do the performance. The timing for the blast is crucial. For that reason, Barnett uses a special timing device. In order to attain the uh, precision required by the score, Tchaikovsky stipulated electric ignition, even though it was 1880. The telegraph was operational in 1843, and there was a lot of electricity in use in 1880. And uh, Tchaikovsky's original plan was to have the switch box at the disposal of the conductor so that the conductor uh, could throw the switches. But as a practical matter, this works better. A little history on the eight bands. And this is Mr. Paul Barnett, the man who is going to make all those cannons go tonight. Paul, now you traveled around the country doing this. How did you get started with that? It goes back 18 years. Uh, in 1967, we were invited by the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra to try a performance there. And uh, we muddled through that. And uh, uh, after doing some research, we built a system of ignition consistent with the composer's intentions and began doing it professionally and been doing it uh, more and more frequently ever since. Okay, now you've got it down to a science. How do you keep them from misfiring? Uh, well, we've got a lot of redundancy built into the system. And uh, uh, I think we've missed three shots in the last 10 years and none in the last five. So it's working pretty well. Absolutely. So never a misfire there. Well, we hope not. You That's never say tonight. never. Yeah, right. All right. Thank you, Paul. You bet. And when we come back, we will hear the 1812 Overture.